The latest numbers from the Federal Reserve for December of 2023 show that inflation is cooling off, but in the aisles at grocery stores, Americans say they aren't seeing much of a difference. Yeah, so prices have gone up for the most part the last two years, and even though they stayed unchanged in the last month of 23, grocery prices remaining about 1.3% higher than the year before. Kent Erdahl, more on how the sticker shock is affecting families all across the nation. If you think grocery store prices have been hard to follow in recent years, you're not alone. It's almost a game of whack-a-mole for consumers to figure out what's going to be the next thing with the big price increases and, and how do I change my eating habits based on what happens. As a marketing analytics professor at the U of M's Carlson School of Management, Joe Redden says it's true. You could actually save some money on a Super Bowl spread this year over last if you stick to wings and shrimp while avoiding things like beef and name brand chips. But as a consumer who invited us into his own home kitchen, he says he knows what tends to happen in reality. You really see the sticker shock when you check out. And you just realize that total is a lot bigger than it used to be. And that's not sitting well with most Americans. According to a so-called Vibes poll conducted by Axios recently, roughly 72% of respondents said groceries are where they feel most affected by inflation, while 59% feel angry, anxious, or resigned when grocery shopping. And if you're wondering why, since grocery inflation technically came back down to earth last year, keep in mind that prices are still up nearly 20% in the last three. One of the challenges with inflation with food is it's been consistently going up and that's just building on top of itself, building on top of itself. So even if it does flatten out now with very little inflation, we are still going to be paying quite a bit more than we were a year, two, three years ago. The increase may be slowing down, but the prices aren't going down. As the founder of Every Meal, which provides a weekend's worth of food to local families directly through students' backpacks, Rob Williams has struggled to keep up with both rising demand and those rising prices. Every penny that it costs more per bag is $4,000 a year um, for our, our program. What if it goes up? you know, 50 cents, right? Fortunately, he says recent financial support will soon allow them to expand their warehouse space. By expanding the building space, that allows us to store more food um, and that allows us to get lower prices in the long run to decrease that price per unit. That's a lot more difficult for the rest of us. Those high prices just tend to be sticky. But Joe says don't discount the importance of smart shopping. We have seen some recent uh, financial results where uh, they're starting to see the pushback on those higher prices now. And we're seeing some of these leading food manufacturers that their unit volume is dropping. So while they're charging more per unit and making more profit on each unit they sell, they're now selling less units in total. If we see any type of price drop, that'll be the catalyst that does it is consumers speak with their wallets and enough of them say, I'm not going to buy it.